How fast does an electron move down a wire? Which would win in a race, an electron or a snail? Let's answer the second question first. You may be surprised to learn that the snail would win, easily. Let's use this electrical circuit as our racetrack. It has an on-off switch, a battery, and a light. The distance around our racetrack is 22 inches. According to the 1999 World Almanac and Book of Facts, a garden snail can move at a whopping 0 0.03 miles per hour. That's 0.528 inches per second. We'll call her Joan. The 1998 Guinness Book of World Records says that a garden snail named Archie went a whopping 13 inches in 2 minutes. That's 0.108 inches per second. This is Archie. And here's our electron. We'll talk about how fast it moves later. And they're off. Archie and Joan roar ahead with the electron. Well, it's moving, but doesn't look like it yet. Joan's in the lead, and Joan zooms ahead with Archie behind, and then the electron... Well, this will take all day, so let's fast forward it. And the winner is Joan, with Archie well behind, but our electron has moved a mere one-tenth of an inch. But doesn't electricity move at the speed of light? The speed of light is around 300,000 kilometers per second, or 186,000 miles per second. Actually, in an unshielded copper wire like this one, electricity moves at around 96% the speed of light, so 178,560 miles per second. At that speed, ignoring other losses, electricity could circle the globe over seven times in just one second. So electricity moves at close to the speed of light, but the electrons don't, as we saw with our little racetrack. One way to visualize what's going on is to use this row of marbles. When we push on one marble, the effect of that push is passed on from marble to marble, and the result is felt by the wooden tile almost immediately. The individual marbles represent individual electrons. They don't move very far along the way. Electricity is represented by the effect on the wooden tile. That effect is passed on almost immediately. And to answer our other question, how fast are the electrons moving? The electrons move at a velocity called the drift velocity. Here's one easy formula we can use to find out. Calculating it out, we get 0 0.0007 meters per second, or 0 0.0028 inches per second. Remember, our slowest snail, Archie, goes 0 0.108 inches per second, 38 times as fast as the electron. For the electron to go around our 22-inch long track, it would take 7,857 seconds, or around 131 minutes, ignoring the time spent in the battery, switch, and light. Electricity from a battery is direct current electricity. The electrons go around in one direction. Electricity you get from your wall socket is alternating current electricity. The electrons go one way, stop, go back the other way, stop, and go the other way again. Even here, though, the electrons are moving slow, like we've been talking about, even though the effect, the electricity, moves very fast. So, if you're a betting person, bet on the snails to win, not the electrons. Well, thanks for watching. Check out my YouTube channel, Rimstar.org, for more fun videos like this. That includes one on how radiation works, how to make a solar cell using a copper sheet, and one explaining all sorts of things about Fresnel lenses. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, or leave a question or comment below. See you soon!